our Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweshai, Bashem Rakakodash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, peace and salutations unto the Akiam, the brothers, pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity. Alright, to the scattered, the speckled Buddhas will like to be scattered among the heathen. I say Shalom, and I say Shalom unto the few and faithful Aqua, the genuine sisters listening and learning. This is your brother Yerushalam, coming from coming out of the GMS Prophetic Vibrations Camp um, from Trinidad and Tobago, coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. Now, this video is going to be entitled This is Why Your Relationships Won't Last. Alright, and this is a response to the Elder Malcolma, you know, out of Chicago camp. Alright, because he made a, a Yapa video based on this, you know, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna lamb back off of that, you know, and then go into a few more precepts. Alright, you know, and here we go, let's listen to this video. Because um it's vitally important, and especially the women, even the men, you know, hear this information. Alright. Real quick guys, I just want to share this article with you about how women absorb and retain the male DNA from the sperm of every single man that she's ever slept with. Okay, A scientific study has shown that females retain and carry male DNA from every sexual encounter with men okay every sexual encounter this is according to a new study by the university of seattle and the fred hutchinson cancer research center okay so this isn't from the so you look for yourself you know it's from a acclaimed um, university and a cancer research center so this is no fly by night information right and um, what did the Lord said? The Lord said, at the end of the day, we have to what prove all things, right? Let's go to that scripture in First Thessalonians 5, verse 21. It reads, Prove all things, hold fast that which is good, right? Abstain from all appearance of evil. And this is, and this, a woman sleeping with more than one man is evil, all right? It's downright evil and it's against the laws of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let's get back here. Onion or, you know, one of the, you know, or Comedy Central or anything. This is from a credited source. And the reason why I'm sharing more of these articles with you is because I'm tired of the hater comments I'm getting from uh, both men and women saying that, you know, we're pulling this stuff out of the air and we're not. I always say that I do my research, okay? I do my research and point out the statistics and the facts. That's really all I do. But uh, this article came out apparently about a year ago. And um, I've noticed, because I tried to do more research, right? Um, I've noticed that Google is starting to bury results, especially when it comes to uh, topics like this. Uh, I've seen a couple of uh, retort articles on it saying, no, that's not true. That's just not true. It's not based on facts or science when actually it is, okay? And um, I've seen a, a number of these retort articles trying to disqualify the uh, scientific findings in order to promote their own agenda and their own politics. And this is why it's hard to trust Google, you know, in itself, because obviously Google is a very leftist corporation. I mean, that's no secret. Yeah, because, you know, we know that the elites own Google, right? And we know they're pushing their, their feminism, which they which they came up with, which they um, came up with. You know, I went through that in previous videos, you know, on feminism, you know, and how, how it came about. All right, we saw that in the book, um, Satan's Angels Exposed, from Salem Coburn. All right, where, the, where you know, um, I believe it's Francis Fanny Wright, you know, came to, to New York to, to, to lecture on feminism back in 1829 all right so they this is their construct you know for their wickedness right and he goes into the you know basically the reason why they why they did it you know why they created this feminism why they want women sleeping around right and uh they are going to bury results like this anything that 
disempowers the feminine while empowering the masculine, I've told you guys over and over, it's going to get buried, right? They're going to remove it. They're going to delete it. Look what they do on my channel. I get demonetized upon every single upload, even though most of the coaching videos I do that are like this are based on science, research, facts, statistics, right? But because it disempowers the feminine and it empowers you as a man, it empowers the masculine, they don't like that. Okay, they don't like that. Yeah, because they're devils, you know, and what and what the scripture says. The scripture says in um I believe it's second Thessalonians three, you know, and this is Esau this is talking about, you know. We we all know this scripture here. It's talking about Esau second Thessalonians three. Alright, let me see if I can um find this thing here. Second Thessalonians two Salaki. Salak so um okay. Here we go. All right, Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. All right, who is what? Who is Esau, Edom, the so-called, start with the so-called elites, right? With the elites of Esau. All right, who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called the Most High. So he opposes all the laws of the Lord. Lord, the Lord said this is a masculine society, the family is masculine base, right? The men are on top. And he comes and says different. He says that no, the women are on top. The women have to be on given that those rights. Alright? So who opposed it and exalted himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshipped, so that he as the most high seated in the temple of the most high, showing himself that he is the most high. Alright, so this is the man you're dealing with here. Alright, that devil. Google doesn't like that. So uh, when these feminists put out articles like, oh, that's not true. Women don't absorb the DNA forever. No, that's just not true. Without any facts or statistics, guess what Google does? They put them right to the top of the search results, right? They put them right to the top. So you're not going to really find articles like this, you know, or many articles like this laying around. Okay. Obviously, this guy knows how to do his SEO because he was able to stay on the first page. <laughs> And this is what they do to, to the men of the Lord's channels too and videos, you know. They push them down. They try their best with the algorithms, but, you know, through the spirit and power of your bashing, your shy, you know, the truth still is coming out. It still is coming out. Whereas uh, a lot of the other ones that I had read previously, because I've read articles like this previously, uh, they're gone, right? Because I was trying to do, I wanted to do a coaching video on this for a while. And I was like, oh, let me go back to those articles that I remember reading last year. Uh, I had like four or five, five of them that I wanted to go back to, and they were all gone. All of them. I was like, where did these articles go? They were on the first page. When this, It's okay, women. You could keep having sex. You're not going to keep male DNA because they want women to be promiscuous. They don't want families to form. They don't want men and women to pair bond. They want women to be hoey, right? They want them out there sleeping around with, you know, hordes of men and not feeling an ounce of guilt about it. And that's what that's what Esau really wants, right? He wants the destruction of the family, right? He wants female dominance, all right? He wants um confusion, right? No, you know, he doesn't like the family, but the Lord ordained it, you know. And as we saw, he opposed everything that Yahweh Hashem Yahushai stand, stands for, all right? And I'm gonna go through a few scriptures. Let's go through a few scriptures here. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 and 1 all right they say if a man puts away his wife and she go from him and become another man's shall he return unto her again shall not that land be greatly polluted because another woman you know goes goes on to well, a man goes on to a woman the first time you know you know and that's her husband for life but any other man coming afterwards it's base, it's adultery you know and her land which is talking about her what her body and her vagina is greatly polluted right but thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith Yahweh. You know, so that is the condition of, of our women in this time, and which is why Yahweh Shai himself said, you know, this was a this is an adulterous generation. Alright, wicked and adulterous. Because women are going from man to man, you know. I mean ten ten men is conservative now, and like that's a good girl, but over that, they have women now who've been 20, 30, 40, 50, up to a hundred and hundreds of men. Alright? You know their their body count is like whoa. Alright? 
more than two tell the recoil all right that's how serious it is so let's go to another precept here deuteronomy 24 and verse 4 it reads and this is the laws right her former husband all right all right so there's a woman who was who was basically divorced and then she took another husband she began with another husband right it's and it, and there's a saying that you know she may not return unto the other husband right this is Deuteronomy 24 and 4 says her former husband which sent her away right may not take her again to be his wife right after that she is defiled right so if a woman leaves a man for whatever reason you know whether she left of her own volition right or or she left because the man let man basically um put her away all right and she go to another man right he may not take her again to be his wife after that she is defiled for that is a for that is abomination before your hour and thou shalt not cause the land to sin because land will be polluted right the literal land the woman and then the land itself because it's wickedness going on which your hour thy power giveth thee for an inheritance all right so hey it's clear here you know it's clear here and, and this is what's going on in this place you know it's just pollution you know these women are polluted all right these they're seriously polluted now let's go to let's go to mark chapter 10 and verse 11 it reads right this is your shai speaking here and he said unto them say it unto them whosoever put away his wife and marry another committed adultery against her so if you put away your wife right you put her away for any reason you know <clears throat> you know and, and marry another she committed adultery against her why because she he left her out you know in the cold to go, go with other men you know and you're not supposed to do that all right and if a woman shall put away your husband and be married to another she committed adultery all right because no matter what you know, you know the only two reasons two ways the lord said you know they would put away your wife either for adultery or for idolatry just worshiping false idols right and um basically as the lord said you know what i said from the beginning there's really no such thing as divorce so your wife is your wife for life you know and and this is why you know your dna alone i say alone right supposed to be in that woman you know because it, because that what that's what bonds you that bonds you both together it's what makes you become one flesh all right and, and we see that so many places in the scriptures in genesis 2 and verse 24 it reads therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave in unto his wife and they shall be one flesh you know and why they're going to be one flesh because why the man's dna now actually bonds with the woman's dna so she becomes his flesh all right so it's not the opposite way around all right and that's why women can't women can't be like men they can't really have multiple partners and really remain sane and viable they'll be messed up you know because you see women walking around here you know they they're quarrelsome they 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 um they they're very um i wouldn't say militant they're very combative all right you know they just they just they must messed up in their head you know and it's, and the reason why is because they got sperm in their head in their brains all right and not the sperm of one man but many men all right so you have a confusion going on you have confusion going on and that's that's serious confusion the lord said what he's not a god of confusion all right he's not a god for confusion but i'll, I'll come back to that point let's go to another scripture here in the book of mark mark 10 and you go up a little higher than we were reading before and verse 8 all right verse 7 mark 10 and 7 says for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they twain which is two shall become one flesh so that they are no more twin but one flesh what therefore that you most high have joined together let no man put asunder so you know sex is marriage all right sex is marriage sex is married so so any woman when a man goes into a woman you know become one flesh and the lord basically join them together why you know because you know the sperm goes on you know her brains her spine as a central nervous system which controls your thoughts 
right, and your nerves, how you behave, all right, you know what you feel. So it's so powerful. And it was when I, when I, you know, other studies show that um, when a man, you know, sleeps with a woman, especially you know over a period of time, you know, the woman has releases power, her body releases powerful um, chemicals, right, or hormones called oxytocin, right, which bond her to the man, you know. Plus, the sperm now goes into her brain and her head, and you know, so she becomes she thoroughly becomes a possession of the man, all right. She becomes a possession of the man. Let's get that in book of Sirach 26. All right, and Sirach, yeah. Let's go Sirach uh, 36 and verse 24. All right. He that get it, a wife begin it a possession because that's what the woman becomes, the man's possession because the man's DNA that infiltrates the woman and into her central nervous system, into her muscle tissue, into her behind her eyes, her nose. Uh, you, she thoroughly becomes part of the man's possession, right? You know, a help like unto himself and a pillar of rest. So, so, so this woman now becomes the man's property, right? A possession, right? And she, she basically is gonna be have that desire and that urge for him, and him alone, and that's how it's supposed to be. But when a woman has many different men, it's just confusion. Alright? It's it's just confusion. And let, let me show you this in let me show you this in Genesis. Because uh Genesis 3 and 16 says, Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. Why I think the desire would be to her husband, you know. The Lord set it up that way that, you know, the sperm would go into an infantry that woman's body and basically, you know, it's like a program taking over. Right? So she will be under the commandment and be subject onto that man. Alright? So that is like it's like a hack. Alright, or a virus that a hacker sends in there sends into a system. Alright? Which is the brain would be like the computer system, the CPU, central processing unit. And it just infiltrates that and takes over. And therefore the woman you know is under the control of the man all right that's what the lord did and that's righteousness all right and that's righteousness one other precept you know to show you know, we could go to ephesians 5 and 31 but one go there that just basically reiterates the point that you know they become one flesh all right you know so you know you basically a you know your your body huh. your, your, your your sperm Sperm basically are like soul layers, all right? You know that they, they they basically another article they will read that you know there are three types of sperm. Some call them one one type they call the swimmers, you know who who are sleek. You know they do they actually penetrate the eggs. You have the soul layers who fight off other sperms, you know, and they have the blockers who block other sperms from passing, all right? So that's that three is three is perfection, right? You know, and this this is like a battlefield. I right, know, you know, or, or like how the American football is, it's like a battlefield basically. You know, any woman body becomes a battlefield, right? You know, because they have different sperms fighting against one another, right? A whole body is is, is just confusion. You know, a woman mind will be constant confusion because you have different sperm on her brain trying to control her, and really it's spiritual because, um, you know, the, the, those you know when they come close, when the other woman you will slap with. You know, when you come close to them, as the elder, you know, Elder Malcolm was explaining, you know, when you get close to them, you know, and you, and basically, you know, you, you feel a bond. You know, and the same guy in this video, he explains that, you know, you feel that bond, even if you don't like her, right? You feel that bond, it's, it's actually is spiritual, it actually goes into the soul ties that we heard about, you know, spirit ties, right? So these women, they just messed up, you know, and that's why you can't maintain a relationship. You can't pay a bond with that. When you find a man who's who decent, you know, and, and basically um you have an emotional bond with, you know, you can't you can't bond with him. Because you have too much male DNA and swimming around your head and your body. Alright? That's basically what's going on. Alright, Proverbs six and twenty-three. You know. You know, and this is this is the 
This is what going on here with the, with the woman. It's Proverbs 6 and 23 says, For the commandment is a lamp and a law, and the law a light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of the strange woman. Lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her take thee with, thy, with her eyelids, yet will be fool. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread, and adulteress will hunt for the precious life. You know, and it just goes down, you know, but, but really and truly, you know, it's, it's um, you're destroying yourself, you know, basically with, with a lot of these women, because they're whorish. And that's what the elites want them to be. Right? They don't want family, they don't want, want a woman to settle down. They don't want a, wom a woman to come off the CC, the C carousel, alright? They want them to continue dating, you know, which dating goes back to basically having sex. That's all it is. Alright? And and these devils, you know, they have no light in them, you know, once you contrary to the word of the Lord, you know, you say, it's plain you have no light in you. You you you, you follow the wicked the ways of the ways of the wicked. Alright? You know, and it's just ironic that this um this 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 revelation, this study, it happened. It basically is about it backfired on them because the real the real reason they did the study wasn't to discover this was to just show how you know women can have an impact on men, but it, it ended up turning back and being the reverse that 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 men actually you know have actually leave a lasting impact you know on women because they say the sperm actually stays in any woman's body for more than 50 years probably for the rest of our life you know so let me go and hit some few scriptures here and close this out this is the book of um, Sirach 26 and verse 8 it reads a drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger and she will not cover her own shame the whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids if, her do if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty and go with different men. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she press trespass against thee. Right? Mm -hmm. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveller when he had found when he had found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every hedge will she sit down and open a quiver against every arrow. So this is why you have to train your daughters up properly, you know, and, you know, us in this generation not didn't know this, you know, but now we, we find it out, so, hey, and, you know, all praises to our Bashem, your Shai, because you're revealing this truth, you know, truth shall spring out of the earth, all right? So the woman, you know, these women sit on my every hedge and open her, her quiver, which is what her vagina, against every arrow, every penis, all right? And that's just, that's just putting it frankly, okay? So... You gotta, you gotta watch over your daughters, you know, and even the women who know this, you know, and who come into this truth should change their ways. And it says, Sirach 7 and 23, it says, Hast thou children, instruct them, and bow down their neck from their youth, so teach them from early, right? Hast thou daughters, have care for their body, and show not thyself cheerful towards them, so, hey, give them discipline, alright? And do let them keep their body anyhow. Marry thy daughter, and so shalt thou have performed a weighty manner. But give her to a man of understanding. So give her to a man of understanding from, from young. I don't leave her that's to be promiscuous. Alright? It says, Hast thou a wife after thy mind? Forsake her not. Forsake her, her not. But give but give not thyself over to a light woman. So if you have a wife and a mind like yours, and that's usually a woman who does not have a high body count. Alright? Okay? Who could actually bond with you and have your mind? You know, because your sperm overriding basically in majority in her brain. Alright? And give not thyself over to a light woman, a woman who, you know, who been who are around the place. Who has a lot of, you know, sperm and all of her in her brain. You know, and, and this is serious stuff. Can't get more serious than this. It's Sirach 42 and verse 9. It reads, The father waketh for the daughter when no man knoweth, and the care for her taketh away sleep. Alright, when he, when she is young, lest she pass away the flower of her age, which her virginity, and be married, lest she be hated. So you still have to marry her off. You duty of a man is to marry off his daughter to a serious, understanding man. Alright, a man of your Hashem Yahushai. Alright, in her virginity, lest she should be defiled. Right, and gotten with child in her father's house, 
and having a husband lest she should misbehave herself. Yeah, but she will sleep with many different men. Right? And when she is married, lest she should be barren. So the main thing is to get marry off these women from early. You know, it's a, a man of understanding. Alright? A man of understanding. Because hey, it's just a shame to have a daughter like that. Alright? Let's go to Baruch 2. And verse 6 it reads, To the Lord our power appertaineth righteousness, but unto us and to our fathers open shame as a pair. This this only shame could come of this for you know for a woman like this. Alright? You know, and shame that shame come from sin, you know. You know, because it's one of the curses, it's actually one of the curses, Deuteronomy 28 and 56 goes into that. The woman basically will have an evil eye toward her husband, you know, sleeping with other men, she'll have wanton eyes, you know. We sin, we sin, you know, and the scripture says, you know, in First John 3 and 4, sin is transgression of the law, right? And in Romans 6 and 23, that way the wages of sin is death. So that's what we deserve for this sin, you know, for this abomination. All right? Now we go to, let's go to Isaiah 32 and 9. You know, and then we're going to go one more scripture and then close it off. All right? Rise up, ye women that are at ease, hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall be, ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail and the gathering shall not come. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bear and good sacklet upon your loins. So you should be fast and praying when you hear this news, right? And you know, and, and come off the cock car cell, you know, and clean up your life, all right? Because hey, you know, and I'm going to go to Isaiah 4 and 1, you know, because this is important to understand what's going to happen to the women who don't do that, all right? Isaiah 4 and 1, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach, all right? And what reproach is that? The reproach of, you know, sinning against your Bashim, your Shai, having many different husbands. Just as this deep scripture went into Yahweh Shai, when he spoke to the woman at the well, and she said, you know, she had all these, she had all these, these husbands and all these men, you know, and he said, you know, you know, basically, you're right, all right, you had all these different men, you're married to all these different men, all right, these different husbands, you know, but the first one is always your first, it's always your real husband. And only when a man dies, then a woman is freed from him. All right, and it makes sense when knowing this information now, because hey, you understand that hey, a man, another man will always have control over the woman, the first man and the man who came before, because their sperm is in her brain, their brain. All right. So verse two says, "In that day shall the branch of your house be beautiful and glorious, and the fruit of it shall be excellent and comely, for them that are escaped of Israel, which is the elect, right, the one third, the, 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 rem the remnants." All right. And it shall come to pass that he that is left in Zion, and he that remaineth in Jerusalem, shall be called holy, even every one that is written among the living in Jerusalem. Talk about the men and the women who are saved, right? And the children, the elect, right? Verse 4, which is the point, when the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, right? Watch what filth? Because of this wickedness, what's going on? Women sleeping with different men. Because the land is polluted as we saw. Alright, it's polluted land in Jeremiah 3 and 1. Alright? The filth, when you have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem, which is Jerusalem, from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. So all the women who don't who don't change their ways and come back to the Lord's ways and cleave on to the men of the Lord, you basically you're gonna be put to death. You're gonna be destroyed in this place by ICBM missile fire. In the lake, you will be going to be destroyed in the lake of fire. That's your judgment, you know. Micah 7 and 10. She that is my enemy shall be trodden down like the mire in the streets, roughly paraphrasing. All right, so change your ways, you know. In this, change your ways, tarry not. All right, and I pray that this lesson has been edifying, you know, you know, and informative. All right, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto your Hawa Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakudash. Wa abad babal shalom.